DGN files. Although we may be working in AutoCAD and the file format is a .dwg, other people may be working with different file formats. One of those formats is a DNG file format. Now in order to import that, we can go to the Insert tab and click Import or we can come to the Application menu and go to Open and import the data. If we go ahead and select that, you'll find your DNG file and go ahead and open it up. Now this is very important because now this allows you to communicate with another person who has a different file type. So being able to collaborate together with another person who's using different file types is very, very useful. Well, what happens if you want to save your file as a DGN to share with somebody else? Well, you can do this with an export. Come up to the application menu, open it up, and then we'll come down to export. And among the various file formats that we can choose from, we'll select DGN. And once you do that, you can go ahead and give your file a name. And in the file of type, we can go ahead and save it as a V8 DGN or a V7 DGN. Now, you may also want to use other file formats as well. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. It's important to note which file formats that you have and that you can export to. Go ahead and look at all these other various file formats. Because when it comes to collaborating with others, they may need a different format than you're working on. And they may also work in a different format than you're able to view.